Now that we have our base images in the right format, I'm going to show you how you can create really unique custom graphics for your website with Be Funky. You can see in my files here that I have an avatar on a transparent background. So I'm going to use her and I did invest in having a designer create this for me a long time ago at the beginning of my business. If you're on a tight budget, you, you can use a site like Fiverr.com, which I'll link to, to have something like this made to represent your business. You can see I have her. I had this suitcase PNG that I found free online. My little chihuahuas here, this hat, and I put them all together on a transparent background to create my custom logo. Now I'm going to go into the Be Funky Designer and show you how you can create something like this of your own. So you can start with a blank template, the blank templates you find under templates and scroll down to the bottom and we just have a blank template here. And then if we go to customize and we click here, this is transparent and it'll give you a transparent background. That's another great new feature with Be Funky. We can upload our images like I already have these images saved from other places around the web here. Or you can use Be Funky's design elements, all kinds of designs and shapes. So look, social media buttons, explore this, lots of great stuff. So they have hats, they have glasses, a lot of really, really cool things. So definitely check that out. I already have some of my own. I'm going to grab those. If you're noticing the suitcases are not the same color as they are on my website, that's because I did some editing to them for the final graphic. But I'm just going to use this one to show you how you can take different PNG files and edit them and put them all together to create something really unique. So you can see that I have the leaning suitcase on that side. It's flipped, so we're going to go here to options. We're going to use this flip horizontally button and bam, there you go. I'm going to resize this a bit, fit it down here in the corner, and I'm going to click to add my avatar. I her over here. She needs to be flipped also, and then I'm just going to play around with her to get her the right size to sit on top of the suitcases. Kind of look back as a reference point. Big. I'm just going to drag this around and play with this. I will add her hat. So I'm just going to drag that over and that is quite large. And it's turned a little wonky. So you just play around with this till we get it the right size and get it sitting just about right on her head there. When I moved abroad, I brought, this is still not quite right. There we go, that's looking better. When I moved abroad, I had three suitcases, thus the three suitcases graphic, and I had my two little chihuahuas with me. We are going to now upload my two little chihuahua graphics. I found these free online also, and then I edited them to match the colors of my two little chihuahuas. And so we'll just resize them and move them around to kind of match what's going on here. You can see I kind of put them together like they love each other. So we'll resize when represents my Chihuahua Yumi, my Chihuahua Piper. Aren't they so cute? I don't like her being in front of his ear. So we're going to go to move backwards. And there you go. You can see that's Pretty much, except for the coloring of the suitcase, is pretty much what I have going on here. Except we're missing the Machu Picchu background. What you would do is you would save this on this transparent background. And then in the next video, we'll get into the next step, finalizing this with the Machu Picchu background. And I'll go ahead and show you how I did the second two images, just so you can get a good hang of working with images in Be Funky.